Otherwise, for today, uh, we're going to see the winds nice and light out there this morning. Just let you know what we're going to see as well in terms of conditions. Mainly sunny skies. Today's temperature is going to be absolutely fantastic. Right now, we're nine at the island. We're at five in Stouffville, nine in through Burlington, four into Oshawa. Good morning to you all. It's going to be a marvelous Monday with a daytime high. 15 degrees. You like that? Tomorrow, 18. Increase the clouds. What you will not like is Wednesday, we can start to get wet, cooler. Thursday, it's calling it trick or wet feet. It's going to be a <laughs> wet one. Yeah, indeed. Seven degrees is your temperature. On Friday night, we could even see a little rain snow mix possible. Seven into wow. Saturday, and then finally dry on Sunday at seven. So take today, take tomorrow in, guys. It's like Friday is November 1st or something. It is yeah. November yeah. 1st. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. All right. Yeah. Mal, what do you have? And of course, this is our top story this morning. Legislature set to resume today after a five-month recess. And coming up a little bit later on in the show, Deputy Premier and Health Minister Christine Elliott will join me here in studio. We're going to talk about a range of topics, including priorities for the government moving forward. A motorcyclist believed to be in his 40s in critical condition after his bike and a transport colliding at Warden in Ellesmere last evening. He was first listed in serious condition. It has since been downgraded. The truck driver did remain at the scene. We have no word on charges. And still with the roads here, a high park school will be testing out a car-free school zone beginning today. Streets outside of Keel Street Public School will be closed during drop-off and pick-up hours in an effort to increase pedestrian safety. This project, headed by a nonprofit group, it's going to run until October 31st.